Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you're new to it. This is Hayden Newberry Fishing. I'm a travel nurse. I'm currently down here in Florida and I'm actually in the panhandle right now. So we're getting some weather pushing through. It's been cooling down a lot. I went out today to kind of get a handle on the fall bite down here because I've been doing all these uh, opens the last couple months or really the last month and a half and I haven't really fished down here until today. So I went out today, um, kind of got to take advantage of some of the fall bite happening around here. And I wanted to share with you guys what was my most effective bait today and actually has been probably one of my more effective baits for a lot of this year. Um, it's been kind of crazy that something like this, just that you really wouldn't expect to produce a lot of big bites it i guess i could see it producing a lot of bites obviously but for it to catch the amount of bigger fish that i've caught down here and in different parts of the country on it's pretty nice it's the yum sonar minnow i know you guys probably saw christy use it in the classic i picked up a couple and have been using it all around the country now it's like I, I don't even have a day that I don't have it sitting on the front of my deck ready to you know toss at something but it's just a little bitty uh, minnow looking jig or minnow looking uh, plastic that you put on a, a jig head and you can use any different size you want to um, this one's on an eighth ounce that's what I use a lot of the time and it's I mean I, I a lot of people might just like drop it on them. I guess that's kind of like a northern thing to do. Um, but I've been casting at them for a lot of the year. And I've caught in the past probably, I'd say, a couple months to really even start in early summer. Which a lot of the early summer stuff, I was catching them on a big swim bait and stuff. But kind of middle of the summer to all the way till now, I've caught so many fish over five pounds on this little thing right here. Today I caught uh, a 5.6 on, on it, caught probably 15 to 20 other fish on it uh, this morning. Just going around and, and, and it's, you know, the, the sonar minnow, it's like you yeah, made for live scoping, but I'm not necessarily looking at them when I'm throwing it. Uh, today, the, the biggest fish that I caught, the 5.7, I was having trouble getting them to, to bite. I was fishing uh, kind of a deep grass line of hydrilla that was about 15 feet deep, and I could not get any of the fish really to eat a jerk bait. I caught, I caught a couple on a jerk bait, and I caught a couple on a swim jig, but they just weren't committing to it. It was just like one here, one there, and, and on live scope, I was seeing a lot more fish than I was catching. I, I saw a bunch of them following it, and threw this thing out there, had two big ones fall it right off the grass, and then a big one ate it. And it was that that uh, five pounder. So I ended up catching quite a few fish on it. I had another guy fishing with me. He ended up tying one on. We both just wore them, on, <laughs> wore them out all morning on it. And it, we're not necessarily looking at them. We're just casting at areas that you would normally cast things like a swim jig, jerk baits, things like that. It's literally like you're just casting that like crappie or something, but you you can catch bass that way easily, and and especially when they're keyed on on that little bait like this, you cast that thing up there, and it, and you don't have to fool them into eating a big swim jig in that clear water because the water that I was fishing in today was on a lake that a lot of the water is is I guess not high visibility, but it's not ultra clear, but the area that I had kind of found myself in had probably seven to eight feet of visibility. It was, I mean, pretty clear water, and they just wouldn't commit to other stuff. So I, so I switched to the to something a little bit more finesse like this, and we just started catching them. They, you could watch them on live scope coming from twenty feet away, just annihilating it, and. It was tricking the big bites too, which is just, you know, <laughs> way better than throwing a, like I was throwing a swim jig all day and maybe getting a few to hit at it or something. But that's kind of what I've been doing with it. 
it's not something that you necessarily need live scope to fish. You don't need need to see them out there to do it. It's something that really, uh, maybe a lot of places even that you would throw, uh, throw a fluke or something. Just put this on a little crappie jig head, throw it up there, just a really steady, slow retrieve, like you would, you know, throwing a crappie jig or something up there, and totally has the ability to to catch tons of bass on it. You don't need to to have a bunch of fish backing out on a fluke, backing out on a jerk bait and stuff like that. You can get big bites on this thing and just going down the bank, just throwing at grass lines, throwing at shallow cover, stuff like that. Great fall time bait. Um, figured I'd share it with you guys and hopefully you guys have as good luck as you as I have with it. Um, let me know in the comments if you already know about it or if you've, if you've had any good days out on the water with it or if you have some good days out on the water with it, let me know about it. But thanks for watching the video, guys. See you on the next one.